You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalith? Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here, needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. Well, I'll think it over. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Is this enough? You won't convince me with that. Finally, a reasonable sum.
What the? I have the bandages. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. Well, a long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. Farewell. Tell me more about the situation. All right, that's... God be with you. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. When are they there? Nearly every evening, every godforsaken evening, shouting and bellowing there till nightfall, and then they leave, probably to get drunk. How many of them are there? 
How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? Aye. They knocked the stuffing right out of me. And nobody does a thing about it? I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. God be with you. with a bite for eat. Yeah. Yeah. I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. <laughs> and why should I help you? It's really important. Mm. Go on. Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sasa with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious and he just keeps getting weaker. Henry, I'm glad you And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. Thank you. 
All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agony. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <sighs> Why is that girl standing here? I executed her husband. What? You killed him? No, no, not like that. It was done lawfully. She knew he had it coming. So then, why...? Folk would like to drive her out of town. She has no one here. For a while, I thought I could take care of her, but... it wasn't to be. Why? Do you really have to ask? I can't even go to the tavern for company. And no one would sup their ale with me. And when I die, they'll probably push me into a hole with a stick so as not to touch my corpse. Is it really that bad? I'm not complaining, mind. It's a well-paid job, if you don't mind being a pariah. They might look sideways at you, too, just for talking to me. And that's what she's afraid of? Exactly. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of, poor lass. You could help her, though, if you wanted. Me? How? Alishka has no family, but her husband might still have some kin. Nobody will talk to me, but you could find out more. Why do you want to find her family anyway? Don't you want her to stay here? I do. She's a splendid woman, but I'd never want to keep her here against her will. The life I lead isn't for everyone. What would she have to put up with if she stayed with you? A lot. I can't deny. Most of the town folk wouldn't give her the time of day, at least not in public. If we had children, it would be even worse for them. That doesn't sound like a very happy life. It's not all bad. It's a well-paid job and even respected in a way. And when someone needs a bone set, all of a sudden they forget your reputation. How can I find out if there's any family? Try asking Alishka herself. She knows a thing or two about them. But, in the end, you'll still have to go and find out something from the bailiff, or from the records at the Rat House. All right. I'll see what I can do. My thanks, if only for the thought.
not safe, Henry. Where? How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Hope it helps. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. May the Lord watch over you. I feel quite hungry. What do you want here? Go and play your games somewhere else. Good day. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here? Or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with Millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care for strangers. So? What do I have to do to get in your good graces, Master Miller? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours that you can be relied upon, and you're not a complete dull. Is there any work here for carpenters? I don't need any carpenters. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you. But I could, uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something, and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store, and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I'm Henry from Scalet, and I'm looking to mill a bit of extra coin, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I expect Peshek sent you, and if it was Peshek who sent you, you can't be a complete dolt. I'll try you out. The tailor in Sasso has received some valuable brocade. Can you get it for me? No problem. He'll be here in no time at all. Good. It ought to be at his shop. Bring the whole bolt. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? What do you say to this? 
Well, a little. Agreed. Now listen up. Good luck to you.